Right now by Sky 7 pilot Neil Lawson. Neil, tell us what we're looking at here and what we should be looking at with a normal engine. Well, you're looking at the main part of the engine, which is back here kind of hidden in the shadow here. What you have out in front normally mm -hmm. is what they call the inlet shroud, which kind of provides a uh, aerodynamic shape to the front of the engine and guides the airflow into the engine. What was your first reaction when you saw the close-up or even a distant shot of this engine or what was left of it? Obviously, there was a catastrophic failure of some mm -hmm. sort. You know, uh, as we wait for the NTSB to have more details of what actually happened and, you know, the details come out about the, uh, uh, the turbine blade cracking and uh, shattering, that could all by itself, just one piece of shrapnel, could be enough to destroy that entire shroud. And we also have a graphic of the plane's ascent and descent and also the miles per hour. Talk about what happened right about here. That is what I understand that the part of the engine broke off and smashed the window. Right, they were in their climb. They were headed up here, uh, up into what they call the flight levels. Mm -hmm. uh, at 32,000 feet, the engine failure occurred. Uh, now, what you have at that point, you have not only an engine failure, but you also have a loss of cabin pressure. That means that the pilot is going to have to get the aircraft down out of that altitude very quickly, down below 10,000 feet, so that the passengers can breathe. breathe. Yeah. And way over here, you see when they got to the ground, obviously zero altitude, they were flying at 200 miles per hour. I initially thought, wow, that's pretty fast, but you're telling me that's really not that unusual. It really isn't in a situation like that. You've only got one engine on this aircraft that's mm -hmm. working now, so you're going to have to maintain a little bit higher speed to keep the airflow over the wings and keep the aircraft controlled. Try to take us inside the pilot's mind. What was going through her mind and what was she thinking as this was transpiring? Well, you know, the first thing she knows is we, she's got engine out warnings in the cockpit, mm -hmm. uh, accompanied by a loss of pressure in the cabin. So the first thing that she's going to be concerned with is flying the aircraft. Is the aircraft controllable? So she's going to be moving the controls a bit, see if she can make the aircraft do what she wants it to do. To do. Mm -hmm. The next thing with that loss of pressure is to get that altitude down as quickly as possible while doing it safely. Absolutely amazing. There wasn't more loss of life. Neil, thank you very much for being here. Royal.